We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Anthony Bass will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on it? Hey, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that uh, he's a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four when he's good. Here's the first pitch to him. The guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams. High and deep down the left field line. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Third, the designated hitter. First pitch coming. Here it is. Way behind that pitch. It's 0-1. And he falls behind 0-2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike in the... Eduardo Rodriguez is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy's a fun guy to watch pitch. Not necessarily an overpowering guy. Has an ERA in the low threes. But one thing he knows how to do, he knows how to pitch and he knows how to minimize damage. If you're going to have an ERA in the low threes in this day and age, you're doing a lot of things right. And this guy should be fun to watch in this one. Don't want to forget about it. Hey, you want to be the team on the attack without question. In the bottom of the first, starting it off with a leadoff single gets everyone in your dugout going. At the plate, Kevin Biggio. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Ben Intendi's got it, and there's one away. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Bo Bichette. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Here comes the first pitch. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Guerrero leads off first with one away. Now a throw over, a dive, but he's back. A bouncer up the middle, gloved by Bogarts. Pedroia on to Moreland, but it's too late, so they'll get just the one. So we're under at first here with two gone in the inning. And up next, former World Series hero Joe Carter. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Bradley will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Swung on and missed that strike two. Bass has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job at keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Yeah, Matt, and that's not an easy thing to do. I think one of the reasons is he changes speeds really well, and he throws both sides of the plate. One of the keys to missing the barrels, you have to be able to throw inside and throw outside, and he's about as good as it gets in baseball at missing barrels. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Into the box now, Rafael Devers. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. Popped him up. Guriel ranges back and he has it for route number two. That is good. Here's the first the baseman first now, Mitch Moreland. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. Weekly hit to third. 
fielded cleanly. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Last half of the second set to go and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Derek Fisher. Back up the middle and Pedroia will stretch but it's into center field for a base hit. Dan, after that base hit right there, we're talking about two full weeks of finding a way to be productive and get a knock. Good think about that. You think how hard it is to get a base hit in a, in a professional baseball game and for him to be able to do it 14 consecutive. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. He's going, brother. Up next is Danny Jansen. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Not in time. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. Runners at second and third here. Nobody out. Sharp ground ball to third. And he tries to get to the backhand, but it gets on by. And the second runner will stop at third, and they're at the corners now with nobody out. Not your stop. At the plate, Lourdes Gurriel. His numbers yeah. against Eduardo Rodriguez. He's a 375 hitter. He's also gone down on strikes five times. The second for one. On the first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. That's not the guy you're going to see doubled out very often, so that was a quick turn at second base. Good transfer and a strong throw. So digging in next will be Travis Shaw. And he'll be one to watch out for in this one. Very good numbers in recent games. And Bogarts will make the catch for the final out of the inning. So two runs. Now at the plate, Christian Vasquez. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Jackie Bradley Jr. is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. And he takes a cold strike two. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking either. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Jackie Bradley Jr. is out number two here in the third inning. Kevin Pillar is at the plate as he watches ball one. Fouled off. Red Sox still looking for their first hit here. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down. Bottom of the third now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure run and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. The windup and the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Line drive to center field, and that's in for a base hit, his second in as many trips to the plate. With that, the Jays put their leadoff man on to start the inning. The batter, number eight, second baseman. In now, Kevin Biggio. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Biggio is really a rare talent in this sport, a true five tool player, as they say, which means he can make an impact in a game at any time. Really a joy to watch, not someone you want to take your eye off of. Yeah, this guy's worth the price of a ticket. Just to watch his tool set, but not only that, the way he grinds at the plate, the way he battles defensively, this guy is one of the true superstars in our game. That's lifted the other way out to left. Benintendi will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now batter, the designated hitter. Oh. So one away in the Toronto third. And into bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. Oh, oh had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. 
Now a move over to first, and he's back easily. Runners on first with one down. Took something off there, but this is hit well anyway out to deep center. And this one is gone, a home run. So a two-run shot to left center, number 14 on the season, as the Blue Jays have opened it up further now, four to nothing. Boy, when this guy gets in a groove, he can hit him, and when he hits him, he hits him in bunches. Hit a home run in last night's game, and if they continue to pitch him on the outer part of the plate, look out, this guy's going to do some major damage. So now to the plate, Joe Carter. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. He gets under it and makes the catch in the deep part of the field. Center fielder. Now at the plate, Derek Fisher. He reached on a single in his first try. Here's the pitch. There's a drive out to left center field. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. Yeah, and when a pitching coach goes to the mound this early, he's probably just looking to reset the pitcher's mindset, get him to forget about the negative, and give him something positive to focus on. We'll see if he responds. Randall Grichik at the plate now. The bouncer to the left side. Bogarts has it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Jays strike. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Just got a piece of it at 98 as this is fouled away. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Here's the one and one delivery to the left side, but it's well foul. Bases are empty, one man out. And Pedroia swings through that one as he's set down on strikes for the second out. Riding in oh, once again, J.D. Martinez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few A.B.s where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikes. At the plate, Danny Jansen. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on its way. And that's down into left center for a base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And the Jays are in business now. It's a leadoff double. Well, Matt, as we take a look at his line here, he might not know all the specifics, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Seems to be the case here. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And this is taken in shy of the track, but the runner will tag from second. And a daring move there pays off as he'll make it into third on the fly number ball to left. Six, number six. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Well, this is what makes this guy so hard to pitch to. He has that rare combination of speed and power. You don't want to walk him and have him get on first base. So what happens, you throw him a strike, and he can hit the ball all the ballpark like he did just there. Heath Hembry answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. At the plate now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Ball one to start the at-bat.
skied into straightaway right. Pilar's there. He's got it, and there are two down now. And there are the final numbers for the Boston starter. Certainly not the night he wanted to have. Well, you could see right from the get-go that he didn't bring his A game. Had a very difficult time getting through the lineup. And as a matter of fact, wasn't able to even get out of the fourth inning. So the bullpen's going to have to do a really big job of finishing out the rest of this game. Now back, the designated hitter. Oh. Stepping in now, Bo Bichette. As he'll swing and miss it, a first pitch slider at strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. And it's quickly 0-2. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Here's the 0-2. Six runs, nine hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Line toward the alley in left center. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter no, right no. here. It doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. He's no. locked. He has great bat no, the ball no. skills. There are some guys that just have a knack, D-Row, of being able to get the barrel of the ball, and this is one of those guys. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. One and one, the count to Joe Carter. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. The one two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's seven nothing. When you're up by seven runs any time in a game, let alone this early, it feels awfully good. They are hitting on all cylinders here, but they have to be careful not to let off the gas pedal now. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Boy, you know, in today's game, d row pitchers are being taught high velocity, go get ahead, and strike one. Boy, that didn't work in that situation. Yeah, and guys have such put away pitches, Dan. You don't want to go super deep in it. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Looking up is Benintendi. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. Yeah, Dan, this doesn't make sense. It's absolutely freezing outside. The last place you want to be is in a batter's box, and this offensive team is driving balls out of the yard. This is what's crazy about the game of baseball, d -Row. You would think under these conditions it would be all in favor of the pitchers. That has been anything but the case so far in this one. And right into the shift. The 0-2 pitch. Little chopper back to the mound. And it's in time at first, and finally, at long last. But a big inning here as seven runs cross the plate, and this lead grows even wider. Back now here at Rogers Center, and here's Heidi. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. All right, Heidi, thank you. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Rafael Devers comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And that misses one and one. And he fouls this one off. Make it seven in a row. My gracious, he is simply unhittable right now. Two away. Stepping in, Mitch Moreland. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning form. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Eight straight strikeouts. You've got to be kidding me. The inning is over. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. 
Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection. Leading off for the Jays. The shortstop, Morton. Woody Hell. First pitch coming, here it is. And here's a ball out towards straightaway center field. In there, a base hit. The Ready for another shot six. now. Travis Shaw Travis. comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. And indeed, he won't try to force it at second. He'll just flip on to first for the sure out. To the Blue Jays. Ready once again, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Two hits in three at bats for him in this one. High in the air out to center field. Bradley is there now, and he has it. Two gone. The batter, Digging in, Kevin Biggio, runner in scoring Kevin. position with two gone. Biggio. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line drive to left. That gets down, and the inning will continue. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Blue Jays forced. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Jackie Bradley Jr. is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Swung on and missed. One and two now. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Jackie Bradley Jr. becomes the first out of the inning. Kevin Pillar will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. This is line to left. But this will hang up just long enough to be run down in shallow left for a tough second out. Now batter. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Andrew Benintendi is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. 0 oh and 2 the count to Benintendi. Good breaking ball. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Bo Bichette. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Here's a little chopper up the middle, and quickly there's one down to lead off the frame. Hey, that's a great job right there. Knowing he had time to collect himself, I love the internal clock. Now here's the pitch. Softly hit out towards short, and that'll be the second out. Now batter. The center field. At the plate, Derek, Derek Fisher singled home a run Fisher. in his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Into right field, that's a base hit. So a two out single there as we check out the teams with the highest batting averages here in the first month of the season. And in fact that number is not only the highest in all the American League but is actually the highest in all of baseball. Here's Randall Gritchick. As he'll swing and pop this one up near second base. Pedroia is there for it and that retires the side. Four pitches, all it takes to retire the Jays. But they leading off for the Red Sox. Ken Giles comes on to pitch from bullpen now in an unexpected move. He's their closer, so it's a surprise to see him here in the seventh. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. 
And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. First pitch of the at bat on its way. J.D. Martinez stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Under this one is Grichik, and there are two away now. In now, Xander Bogarts. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. 0 1 the count. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. No runs, just one hit and one error on the Boston line score. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. Last half of the seventh here, and next will be the speed threat, Danny Jansen. Number nine. Hopped up. Bogarts waits on it. One away. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop-up to start the inning. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And first pitch swinging as this is bounced on the ground towards short. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. Now back, first baseman. Stepping up now, Travis Shaw. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first. And the throw is in time to get him to retire. First pitch on its way. Rafael Devers is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now that the first offering on its way. Mitch Moreland comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. One, oh. one out, nobody on. A ball and a strike. On that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. A one and one count now to Vasquez. Two out, nobody on. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. And it's fouled away. Another one sent foul. Hopped into the air, back behind second. Biggio makes the play, and the inning is over. Marcus Walden enters now in a mop up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Stepping in, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. Ben Intendi's got it, and there's one away. Now batting. Now at the plate, Kevin Biggio. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, his wheels got him in trouble a little bit last time. Tried to take advantage, thought the defense was napping a little bit. In retrospect, maybe he should have just shut it down and steal second base. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. This will be handled by Pedroia at second. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now back. The so striding in, Bo Bichette. Two hits in four attempts to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. Where this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan, what does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? Dero, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else but on that bump right now. This has the makings. Of and the throw to first is there. The inning is over. 
Here's Jackie Bradley now starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Into the corner and slicing foul. And he rolls over on that one foul. It's still 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. This is pulled into right. Richard is there to put it away for route number one. The right fielder. So stepping in, Kevin Pillar. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. No balls in one strike. Fouled away. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Giles will take charge himself out there, and there's two down. Now back, left field. First delivery to him on the way. Andrew Benintendi is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0 and 1. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Strike three. Good night, Boston. Man, they've already put the all time winning streak record in their rear view mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say.